Let's do this. are gonna run the New York City Marathon this year. As you maybe know, it's one of the most famous races and if you want to enter, you can either go for a lottery. And so what happened is that my brother got picked and he got a, a slot to run in the yeah! race and I didn't. And then I was a bit like, oh, f I mean, we really wanted to do this together. As you know, doing sports together, me and my brother, is a big thing of our binding or how we go through the situation in the last years with my illness. And he was always a big inspiration for me. And it was quite expensive to get a ticket. And I, I told him, look, it's at this moment, it's just over, over my budget. invest everything I have in this project and I, I really tried to kick that off and it was just not reasonable for me to invest this money for, for a run. And then he was of course a bit disappointed but as he is, he is a problem solver. So he had an idea and he actually started a little fundraising in our circle and <laughs> For me, this was so touching, not only that he did it, but also to see that like other people really cared and, and like supported us and me. And now we got the money together and I gonna run. Welcome to the opening ceremonies for the TCS New York City Marathon. This year's Grand Marshal, the US Marathon Olympic team. So that's the big thing and uh, first of all I wanted to thank everybody who was like supporting this. Um, it really goes here deep, like for me this um, gives me a feeling of, of being covered or being holed up. In many times I, I go down, I, I, I have a struggling time and then to see that there is a network of people who who, are, who is here, who is, is like here for you, that is like, it's so touching, it's really so touching and I think it's, it's a big part of my process and my healing and to go through all of this that in a moment like this I, I see I'm, I'm not alone. Yeah, and now we have to uh, get ready. So I thought maybe I'm gonna show you now what I'm gonna do. So in order to run a marathon, um, which I never did, you need a plan. And I'm gonna show you now how I tried to do that. When it comes to these kind of challenges, I'm always a very practical person. So what I do now, you can see here, I go to Strava. Um, that's my place where I log all my data for running and fitness. And then you have here, you have like different things and here, bam bam training plans very easy like switch off my brain and just download the plan like somebody telling me what I have to do so this is how it goes look I treat this training plan as a meeting with a business person or something that I have to do for work I put it in and then it's fixed and I don't think too much about it like if yes or no but now comes the best part I'm only allowed to quit the training in the first half hour after I finish the training 
So I'm not allowed to say, okay, I stopped with this whole mess. Anyhow, I'm not going to run a marathon or so. So I, I can quit every week or in any moment, but only the first half hour after the training. And the good thing about that rule is that after the training, I feel always so good <laughs> that I'm like, oh man, I should do this more often. And oh, I mean, it's always in the beginning is like, oh, So that's, that's the dangerous moment that is like, ah, let's fuck it. Like, I, I'm not going to do this. So if you put in the rule that you're only allowed to quit the first half hour after the training, then you're going to be pretty safe. At least that's my experience. That is the big announcement of today. And um, exciting. I've never done a marathon so far, so it will be a new thing and it will be amazing to run this with my brother and with the support of all of you. I think we also have good weather to go for a run. So probably should put in my first training today. Yeah.